Alright, 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 so before the video begins, I just want to let you know that on behalf of my extremely biased opinion, there isn't any tutorial like this. And if there is, mine is the best and I'm just I'm just kidding. But for real though, uh, for the procedural system, I've, I'm using uh, view models and looking back, I'm pretty sure I could have used the player's joint like CO and C1. So there may be better tutorials out there, but my code works. It just works. So yeah. All right. Enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe. See you. All right. So first I will set the default character to R6. Then create a blank R6 character into your workspace. Name it the model. Remove the head, the arms and torso. Add some pants into the view model and rename it pants. Move the view model into replicate storage. And then create a part set to one by one and name it ray part. Move it to the replicate storage. Create a local script inside this character starter script and name it however you want. We are now ready to script. To start scripting, we're going to need variables such as the player, his character, the replicate storage, and run service since we are going to update the view model in a loop. We also need other stuff like the root part, the view model itself, and the actual legs of the player. We also need the initial offset of the legs for when we want to revert them back to normal. We're going to create a function for when we need to weld the ray parts to the player. Then we send the model cloned into the character. We make sure everything can collide.
we place our ray and weld them onto our player. We're going to need a function to match the Vmodel legs to the player legs. If you watch the first part of the FPS system, you're going to already know this. We also need a function to send the ray cats to check how far from the ground the ray hits vertically. Remember to filter the character and the ray part. If there is a result, he returns the vertical position. We're going to need two variables that will enable us to only adjust one leg at a time. We use two functions to see if we are allowed to move the specific leg. If the value leg is true, that means that it's the left leg. And if it's false, it's the right leg. We then create our function to adjust the leg. Since most of this is math, I will sadly not get into it. But in a nutshell, we just set the position of the leg vertically to the position of where the ray cast hits with a forward offset. We also update the position horizontally of the leg We do this for both the right and left leg. We just need to create uh, our loop function using render stepped. Note that I haven't scripted the condition that it will stop the script when the player dies, so you will have to figure out that part. Now let's correct some mistakes I've made and you're all set. I've been the 
It should work on the local side, now it's up to you to make it on the server side. 